Keston, this is your fourth season with the New Saints. It's a great opportunity to catch up. You are from Swansea. You supported the Swans as a young boy, and then you went and signed for them in the academy setup. Yeah, um, it was quite a young age, I think maybe six, seven, eight. Um, I drifted, I think at that time, I drifted between Swansea and Cardiff because they both had the development setups. Uh, and then it was actually when I was like eight years old, I think I officially signed for Swansea and was obviously there for a good few years. And then you did leave for the bright lights of the capital, not Cardiff though, but across the border into England, specifically with Fulham. Yeah, they were doing um, like a school programme at the time. So how I'd left Swansea, it was a lot had gone on behind the scenes, but I ended up leaving um, and then a scout from uh, from Swansea who was working on behalf of Fulham uh, contacted me. Then I went up, visited a few times and uh, that was over the summer. And then towards the end of it, uh, end of the summer, they said, but look, we're starting a school programme. Uh, is it something that you'd be interested in? And uh, I, I took the chance and I, I actually, like it's the, one of the best decisions I ever made. It just gave me like a completely different outlook on life. I could grow up quicker and I think that, that two years that I spent in London was just massive in my development and probably as a person. So a great couple of years in London, but then you were back with Swansea City again. Yeah, I mean, um, I think there was a lot of like back and forth with, with Swansea at the time. And obviously being from Swansea, there was a lot of relations that I had that my family would have to maybe staff at the club. Um, and then I heard a, a few whispers and then, yeah, I had, a, had an offer and it was something, I think it was uh, gonna be a professional at 17 or 18. And for you, Boytown Club, I don't think I could have turned that down. And luckily enough, it was, it was a good decision. And as part of your ongoing development as a young footballer, you also spent time on loan at Yeovil Town and Notts County. Yeah, I mean, massive learning curves uh, for me. Like the both loans were, um, I think, getting into that environment where uh, results do matter and uh, there's a lot more at stake. Um, I think I needed that at that point in my development. Um, but no, I, I thoroughly enjoyed them. I probably would have liked to have played a lot more games at, on both loans, but uh, looking as a whole, it was they were both really valuable experiences. And as far as the football being played was concerned, was there much difference when you went out on loan? Uh, yeah, I think obviously as Swansea uh, grown up through the age groups is a philosophy and a style of play that is like to be played, I think, when you venture into maybe the lower leagues, then it's not so much style of football's go out of the way, but results become more, uh, what's the word, maybe more, I can't find the word there. More important? More important, yeah. <laughs> so I was stuck then. Um, yeah, they become more important. So I think like you're playing with players that need to need the money and need to get that win bonus and stuff and it becomes more meaningful. Um, so maybe the, the style of play does go out the window a little bit, but no, it's definitely something that I would encourage all young, young professionals to do at clubs, to go out on loan and experience that, that side of the game. And as well as your club football coming along nicely, you were also featuring in some international games as well for Wales, up to and including under 21s. Yeah, I mean, that's like massive, massive for me, massive for all my family. Um, I probably didn't play as many under 21s games of what I would have liked, but I mean that was a massive achievement in itself to get there. Um, but no, I, I loved the, the international experience and yeah, it was amazing. And can you recall the first time that Wales contacted you as a young boy to say, get your bags packed, you're off to a camp? Yeah, no, I, you never forget those moments. I think. Uh, we, we would do like a, a south and north there would be different like regions that would um, start off at younger age groups and then I remember the first I think the first game that I ever played was against Poland away and then I think at 15 14 15 years old it's such a massive experience and 
yeah, luckily enough, I was able to, to do it again. And these are all your pre-TNS days. Would it be true to say that the international games are perhaps the ones that stand out more as opposed to the club games? Or could it be a combination of the two, depending on the circumstances? Yeah, I think it's, it's a combination of them both. I think, um, I mean, there's a lot of games that I played in that club level that like were were as important as what the international games were but maybe you just you've just got a different badge on your shirt um but no i, I they both both club and international is like what i think what i've played and what i've achieved is is good good for me do you know what i mean and back to club football how do you then make the switch from swansea city to the new saints uh well i think my all good things come to the end and obviously the being a hometown, uh, hometown uh, boy at Swansea that was that had ended um, and then I was I was away on holiday and had a phone call uh, that TNS were interested and obviously you know before I come here what a TNS had achieved and the style of football that, that they played and I was definitely interested straight away and then yeah it just it just went from there and when they say time flies, it's certainly not a joke, is it? Because it's just over four years ago, I remember sitting down with you for the very first time doing your first club interview. Would you have imagined, particularly with the transient nature of football, how things move very quickly, that you would still be here in your fourth season? Yeah, I mean, like in football, like anything can happen, can't it? So I, I don't didn't think probably four years ago that I would still be here now but I mean the last four years have been brilliant and I've loved my time here and hopefully it can continue um, but no I, I, I like I say I've, I've loved it loved every minute of it being here and how did Covid affect you personally as a footballer because obviously the games were either off or stop and start or we didn't know what was happening from one week to the next yeah I, it's such an unusual time uh, I think not just in the football world, but e like everybody suffered, I think. Um, so yeah, it was, like I said, unusual. Um, but I mean, we tried to get uh, the best results as what we could during that time. But like I say, I hope we're out the other end of it now and like we can continue to push forward in the league. And of course, you were part of last season's European campaign, which was the most successful in the history of the club as those games began to unfold did you appreciate that that was happening at the time or was it really a case of concentrate on this game and then we'll look at the next one when the final whistle goes here tonight yeah i think that's exactly what it is it's, it's kind of a snowball that you fall into and obviously i think at the end of each round every game that you play you obviously buzz in but you know there's another game coming up in a few days time um, so I mean we did enjoy the, the times but also we knew that the following week or the few days later we were going to play again. And when we exited the competition in Europe eventually against Victoria Pilsen on the road was there a sense of disappointment because that happened or did you look at the big picture and also see achievement as well or possibly a combination of the two? Yeah I think at the time you're probably devastated that the advantage that we had going into the away leg that we probably should have won um, and I think you're probably thinking about stuff during the game that maybe oh if I had done that if I had done this but I think now looking back at it it was such a big achievement I think Victoria uh, they're playing in are they playing in the Champions League at this moment in time so you look at their the difference in 12 months um, they're in the group stages so when you look at it as a whole we actually didn't, didn't do too bad and we did quite well in the league as yeah. well with a 21 point margin especially after the the covid years and obviously Connors Key Nomads won the title for two years on the bounce how important do you think it was to win the title last time round it was crucial uh, to get back to winning the league um, I, I hadn't done it um, until obviously last season um, so I think you, you have a feeling from all the players from that have been here for a few years of like how big of a moment that it is um, so to be able to do it last year was, was brilliant. 
and this time round of course the European campaign didn't extend as much as perhaps many would have liked was there a sense of disappointment with that yeah massively um, I feel one goal maybe at Linfield away has kind of been our downfall um, maybe if you could highlight it as a whole would, would be that one goal um, but no I think we we probably unlucky there's probably stuff that we could have done better definitely um, but no I think looking into this season now we want to go and win the league like we did last year and get win as many trophies as we can and then hopefully this time next year we're sitting in a, in a group stage hopefully and we mentioned Linfield a very very late goal that pulled them back in the tie they obviously went on to win that as an individual player not necessarily the Linfield game now but games in general do you often look back to those key moments especially when they go against you and sometimes relive them and think if only I'd have done this or if only we'd have done that 100% yeah you do I think games that you play in the league when you can see the goal I think a, a lot of the lads are the same you'll watch it and think oh maybe I could have done this maybe I could have done that I think it doesn't matter who you play you will you will know if if there's a goal going in that you should have done better especially as a defender and not just in football but life in general we all know that there are disappointments along the way but it's how you bounce back that's important how you react and we've certainly done that in a positive way because we currently sit top of the JD Cymru Premier unbeaten the only side unbeaten in the league and only conceded one goal in five games yeah I think when you when you get put out of uh, Europe like we did I think it was uh, like crucial for us to <coughs> make a big in impact on the league and start well and like you said, we've, we've only conceded one goal in, in five games and yeah, hopefully we can continue that run throughout the season and, and hopefully win the league. Obviously for everyone associated with the club in whatever capacity, just conceding that one goal is a great achievement at this stage of the season. But as a defender, is that a particularly pleasing statistic to look at yeah definitely I think as a defender you pride yourself on a, on a clean sheet um, I think to, to concede one goal in, in five games is something that us as a back four as a back six players I think have played at it at the back are, are proud of and we are in action tomorrow as we take on Cardiff Met at King Coy campus that's not been a particularly happy hunting ground in recent years for the side why do you think that sometimes teams can raise their game against a particular side a particular opponent yeah i feel like it's a lot of um it's a lot of games like that are i suppose our cup final um i mean they don't i think the, the stats that we when we play other teams we obviously have a lot of the ball and i suppose we probably have, maybe have more shots and x y and z so I think teams know that they've got to bring, I suppose, their best game and, and yeah, they, they, they go for it. So yeah, I, I mean, I've played at Cardiff Met's ground a, a few times and they've always given us a tough game, so it, it'll probably be exactly the same tomorrow. And there's certainly an incentive for the New Saints tomorrow, because if we win that game, we will go four points clear at the top, and especially with no game in the league next weekend, that could be an important victory if that were the case. Yeah, I definitely. Like, I mean, we, we want to win every game. Um, obviously, some are more crucial than others. Uh, I mean, tomorrow, if we can get, if we can win and go four points ahead, we'll. I know we'll all be buzzing. And the reason we won't be in league action, of course, next week is that we're back in Scottish Cup competition, the SPFL Trust Trophy, as it's known this season, as we take on Dundee at home. Tough game. Yeah, I mean. <coughs> Obviously, they, they're a big club and they're going to be looking to win the game as well as us. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be probably finish uh, Cardiff Met tomorrow and then all the focus will be on them. We're only just into the league season, of course, and the nominations were put in recently. The short list, and you made the short list for Player of the Month in the JD Cymru Premier. Were you surprised at that? Yeah, massively, yeah. I think, um, I think it's always nice to get 
recognition to show that okay maybe you are doing something right um, but no I, d I didn't expect it at all and yeah like I said it was it was nice to get nominated and finally have you set yourself any goals for this season quite literally because we've talked about stopping them at one end but I know against Newtown in particular you almost come close to finding the back of the net there yeah I, I feel like there's I've had a few chances maybe in the last few games where I thought, oh, yeah, I should have scored or should have done better with that. Um, but no, I think my, my goals for the season would be to just play as many games as I possibly can. Um, obviously, along with that, like get as many clean sheets as I can. And if I can pop up with a goal or two here or there, then, then yeah, I'll be buzzing with that as well.